So, you just bought the Insta360 X3. You want to know what each button does and how to access basic menu functions. Well, that's what we're going to be talking about. So sit back, relax, enjoy, and feel free to take some notes. Let's get started. Let's first get familiar with the buttons on the camera. On the right side of the X3, you will find the power button, and right below that, the button that will access all of your custom shooting modes. This is a quick access button, and we'll talk more about this in a moment. On the left side, you will find the USB connector port with the cover flap that's also removable. You can attach different accessories to this, and I'll show you how to do that in another tutorial. You can simply pull off the tab, and you can attach it by simply placing it back in its original place. You might have to wiggle it for it to come off and for it to reattach itself. To remove the battery, pinch the two tabs and then pull out the battery. Reverse the process to reattach the battery. With the battery removed, you can then remove the micro SD card. Simply press it in and it will pop right out. Use your fingernail since this can be tough at times to remove. Then you can insert the micro SD just by pressing it in and it will lock into place. Then you can reattach the battery. On the back of the X3, we will have the second camera, microphone, and LED status indicator light. On the bottom of the X3 is where you will have the quarter 20 inch port where you can attach your selfie stick, tripod, and other accessories. I strongly recommend that you purchase the rubber lens cover. It will protect both the lenses very well. With the camera turned on, simply swipe in the middle of the screen to the right and you'll have access to different shooting modes. On the top left, 360 mode, and on the top right, single lens shooting mode, which will only use one of the lenses. You can also change the video, photo, HDR, and burst photo modes right here in this menu. I will make separate tutorials covering these modes in detail. On the home screen, on the top left, you will have the current time remaining on your SD card. Top right, the battery life remaining. Bottom left are the camera settings, and bottom right is the lens or camera selector, which will use either the front or the rear camera. To reframe the camera angle in a 360 space, just hold your finger down and then move the frame in any direction that you like. Then tap the X button once you're happy with the frame. Swipe right from the edge of the screen to access all of the previous videos that you have taken. Videos and photos will show up here and scroll up or down to switch between the different clips and photos. Then you can swipe right to go back to the home screen where you will see live feed coming from the cameras. On the bottom left, you will have access to the resolution and frame rate settings. Swipe right or swipe left to change these settings. Once your settings have been set, simply swipe down from the top and you will go back to the home screen. Swipe left from the edge of the screen to access specific camera settings, such as auto exposure, white balance, and picture profiles. In auto mode, ISO, white balance, and shutter speed will be set to auto by default, but you can also set your own custom white balance in auto mode too. On the top right of the screen, you can select manual mode where you will have full control over your ISO, white balance, and shutter speed. When you are in HDR mode, photo mode, or any other mode, you will find very similar settings in those modes as well. To record video or photo, press the shutter button located on the lower left of the camera. To the right of that is the single to 360 mode selector. Press this if you want to enter single lens mode or 360 mode. On the home screen, swipe up from the top edge of the screen. All standard settings will be shown here. Here you'll be able to change things such as screen brightness, haptic feedback, you even have the option to connect your AirPods, and a wireless remote. The gear icon on the bottom right will give you options to change the USB mode, Wi-Fi settings, and if you need to format your SD card, you can do that here too.
Now let's set up the quick shot button, which will allow you to immediately access customized shooting modes. Each of these customized shooting modes can be programmed by you. Scroll up or down to select these customized shooting modes. You can either overwrite or delete them. Just tap on the three dots to the right to either overwrite or delete the customized shooting mode. There is a limited amount of customized shooting modes that you can have, which is why the plus button on the top right of the screen is not always illuminated. Once you delete a customized shooting mode, the plus button will reappear. To add a custom shooting mode, make sure that your camera settings are already set, then tap the plus button and then select a preset name. Now you'll be able to access this shooting mode at any time. It will automatically change your video settings to match this shooting mode. Don't worry that this tutorial is now over. I'm gonna be releasing a ton more tutorials on this X3 camera. Also the Insta360 ONE RS one inch 360 camera too. So stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed and comment down below and tell me what you wanna see more from these cameras. I'll see you in another video. Peace.